Hi, in this tutorial we will have a look at storage virtual machines or SVMs. A data SVM is created in the cluster and is not connected to a node. So the SVM is available via all of the nodes in the cluster by default. Next to the name for a storage virtual machine, you will also need a root volume. And this root volume is one gigabyte in size by default. And it's configured in an aggregate by choice. This volume is used to create a path to data volumes in the SVM for NAS clients. Without a root volume, NAS clients would not have a path to the data volumes in the storage virtual machine. An SVM supports one or more storage protocols. These protocols can be a combination of the listed protocols you see here. Don't worry about them now, we'll deal with some of them later. Usually a data SVM has one or more data volumes, which are obviously used to store client data. You can create these volumes at any time. Also, an SVM usually has one or more logical interfaces, or LIFs. These can be IP addresses and worldwide port names. You can create them at any time, like data volumes. Protocols can be added or removed after SVM creation. An SVM can be running or stopped. When an SVM is stopped, then clients will not be able to access it for as long as it's stopped. So it's not a good idea to stop an SVM if there is no urgent reason for it. To remove an SVM, you will first have to remove all of the volumes inside the SVM. We are not going to concentrate on the other SVM types right now, which are cluster, node and system SVMs. These will be dealt with in another tutorial. But for now, you only have to know that these are for cluster management of some kind, but not for client data or client access. So let's do it. 